What's up guys, V here for a little collectible guide for you. This is going to be for the lore artifact locations and stranded sales. This guide will work on all platforms, so whether you're playing on Xbox, PS4, Switch, or Steam, the locations will be the same for everyone. There are a total of seven sets of artifacts to collect. There is one set on each of the three islands surrounding your main home island, one set actually on your main home island, and three sets on the easternmost island. But before you go collecting these, I highly recommend bringing some food with you that gives you either the boat buff or the walking buff, as they will cause your energy bar to deplete much slower than normal, and that'll help you crank these out much quicker than you otherwise would. So the first one that we're actually going to get is going to be on our main um, home island, and this is going to be the Champion's Genesis set and there's gonna be five phrases that we need to pick up. I'm actually gonna do these a little out of order instead of one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna pick up the second one first because that is a lot closer to our main camp. And then the other four are all on the northern side of the island. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and run over to the pyramid. And I highly recommend getting the shortcut here as it'll make your life a lot easier and make this go by much quicker. If you don't have it, then you're just going to have to take the bridge to get to this part, but just follow this path along as if you were actually going to the pyramid itself. And then you're going to come to a little split in the road where the rocks is where we would normally go to the bottom of the pyramid right here, but instead you're going to go up the northern little section and go through the grass to the right, and when you reach the stairs to the pyramid, there's going to be the little collectible right there at the end of the path, so pick that up. And you can either fast travel back to your camp here or run. I'm just going to go ahead and run because it's not that far with the shortcut. But you want to make it all the way back to your camp and then back down to the beach where the shipwreck is. So just make your way over there. And again, I have another little shortcut here. If you don't have it, that's okay. You just have to take the lower path down to get to the beach, but you want to follow the beach to the right, kind of where we are um, collecting all the trees throughout the story, the strong wood and all that stuff. That's kind of where we're going to be going. So just keep following the beach around, ignore the first path that leads to the right. We don't need that one. So just keep following the beach north. And take the second path as it shows on the right hand side. And instead of going up to where the trees are, we're actually going to follow the beach down to the south. And down at the end of this little section is going to be the next collectible to pick up. So just follow this all the way down. And there's the collectible, so go ahead and pick that up. And make your way back up north along the beach. And now we're going to go up to where we cut down the trees. So follow that grass ramp leading up to the little mountaintop. And you're just going to follow this around to the left. And if you didn't already place a bridge kit coming up, you're going to need to place one. So make sure you have one on you, but just follow this ramp up to the left and at the top, follow it back to the right. And you're actually going to place a bridge kit down here at the very end if you haven't already done so, but you most likely have if you're already working on collectibles here. So just cross the bridge and turn left and go down the little ramp. And this is where we would normally place the ladder that is showing here, but ignore that for now and just follow the grass all the way to the right. And at the end of this little section is going to be the next collectible. And you can actually see the last one we're going to pick up down at the beach down below. It's a little blinking down there. So we're going to pick that one up last. So from here, head back down to where that ladder was. And if you didn't already place the ladder, go ahead and do so and climb up it so we can get to the next area. And then just follow this path all the way down to the left. And you want to get on the lowest part possible. So make sure you are not on the top cliff part. And if you are, just turn around and head back down, but you want to get to the lowest section on the left. So just keep following this down.
Okay, once you're on the lowest section, follow the little ramp going down. And there's going to be a cave entrance here at the very end. Go inside the cave as soon as you see it. And there it is, so go inside. And just follow this path up and take the ramp going down to the beach. And on the right hand side is going to be the next collectible. So just pick that up once you see it. And you're going to head back up that ramp. And now follow the path going up. And this ladder is actually going to be in the chest over here, the one that's open. So you don't have to craft one here. The game actually gives it to you. So place the ladder down and climb up. And then just keep following this path around. And go through the cave at the end. And follow down the left side of this path. And we're actually going to cross over the bridge that we did earlier. So once you reach this open area with the trees, head over to the far right side. And you'll see your bridge here in a second. Okay, so cross over the little bridge and just hug the left side uh, kind of down on the bottom. You want to just run along this little edge down here and you're going to run into a post where you need to put a climbing kit down. So once you run into that, go ahead and place the climbing kit and then just head down the rope. And you're going to follow this next section all the way to the right and up until you hit a beach area. So you're going to go up a couple of hills and then down a couple of hills. but just keep heading north until you hit that little beach and we're going to pick up the collectible we saw earlier when we were on top of that cliff how you look down and it was all shiny so just keep following this around and then once you hit the beach go ahead and hug the rock wall and over on the left is going to be the final collectible for this area so this is going to finish up the champions genesis set and now we're going to head over to the Northwest Island to get the Ancient Prophecy set. But first we're going to head back to our camp so that we can replenish on some food. And then I'll just meet you guys over there. I'm not going to show you the whole boat ride. Okay, and once you reach the Northwest Island, this is where we're going to pick up the Ancient Prophecy set. And there's going to be four pieces to this one and we're actually going to do them in order of one, two, three, four. But when you get here, you want to aim for the north side of this tiny little island, just in front of the main island. This is where the first piece is going to be. So once you're there, go ahead and exit out of the map and you're going to climb up two little ramps. And at the edge of the cliff at the top is going to be the piece. So go ahead and make your way up and feel free to pick up any items you see along the way. It's completely up to you as to whether or not you want to grab those. but. Again, just make your way up these two little rock ramps and at the very end on this little cliff is going to be the first collectible. So go ahead and grab that once you're up here and make your way back down both ramps back to your boat and we're going to head over to the main island now. And if you open up your map, we can put a little marker there and we're actually going to aim for the lower left cave entrance on the beach. So that's where we're going to start the next sorry the next little part so jump in your boat and make your way over to the main island and we're just going to go right into that little cave okay once you get to the beach just go ahead and head to the left and there's going to be a couple of train tracks here just follow those up and you're going to go right into the cave and just keep following this path along and also be sure to eat something if you need to. If not, you can go ahead and continue. But at this first little T here, you can grab this item if it's there for you. Otherwise, we're gonna go up first. And you are gonna need a bridge kit for this. Um, this section is actually part of the story related quest line. So depending on where you are, you most likely have that bridge already. But if you don't, you need to place one down and then just continue the path along. And there's gonna be a cave at the very end. Go through the cave and just keep following the path. And then it's gonna turn up and lead to a kind of a large open room. When it does, just hug the left and take the path leading to the left. And it's going to split and take the path going up and the second collectible is going to be on this rock up here so go ahead and pick that up and we're going to go through a little bit of backtracking we're actually going to go back to that bridge that we crossed and down to that initial t so head back to the right and then down and then follow this path and at the end is going to be that little cave we went through so go back through the cave 
And then on the other side, just keep following this path. And again, we're gonna cross that bridge that we crossed earlier. And then just keep following this down and you're gonna reach the initial T intersection that we first went up on. And this time we're gonna go and take the left path. So just keep running and take the left and then hug the right edge of this area and we're actually gonna take the upper right path. And then when it splits, go left. And you are gonna need a ladder kit for this part. Um, if you have not placed one already, you need to do so now. But the ladder kit is gonna go right on that little block as you can see it right here. So place the kit down and climb up the ladder. And again, you can pick up any items you want on the way. It doesn't matter. You can ignore these boxes if you don't really need anything, but just follow this path along. And when it splits, you can take the upper or the lower path. It doesn't matter. They both lead to the same spot, but just follow it around. And at the very end is gonna be a little cave. So go into the cave entrance. And as before, just follow this path. Take the right path when it splits, and then take the bottom path when it splits again, and then finally take the right path, and just keep running on the path that leads up. And then when it splits, you will see that the collectible is just straight ahead on the rock. So go ahead and pick that up, and just take the right path, and we're gonna follow this all the way around and we're actually gonna place a climbing rope down. So if you don't have a climbing rope kit, you are gonna need one for this part. But on this little post on the right hand side is where your climbing kit is gonna go. So place it down and then climb down the rope. And when you get to the bottom, we're gonna take the right path. So make sure you turn right and then take the upper path and then take the left path and just keep running up and just follow this around as it curves and you'll see the fourth and final collectible on the rock just here up on the top. So go ahead and pick that up and that will finish up the Ancient Prophecy set. And we're gonna head over to the Southern Island for the Eternal Champion set. But first again, we're gonna go home and eat some food. Okay, so on the Southern Island, we're gonna get the Eternal Champion set, and there's gonna be five pieces to this. And we're actually gonna start on the southeastern shore of the beach over here. As you can see, there's a collectible marked on the map, and there's actually four here. So four are on the surface, and then there's gonna be one inside the caves that we're gonna get. Um, we're not gonna do these in order. We're actually gonna go two, three, one, four, five, just to make it easier, because you do need to place down um, your kits, your bridge kit, your ladder kit, and your climbing rope kit. So you won't be able to do them in order without those. If you do wanna start on the western side of the island, you're more than welcome to do so. There are a bunch of item chests in this little area here, and for the most part, I think they just drop rope and metal. I haven't really seen anything else, just lots and lots of rope, but yeah, it's up to you if you wanna go there or not. So once you're on the southeastern beach of the map, go ahead and go all the way to the right, and you're gonna pick up the first little excerpt here, and that's gonna be excerpt number two, and head all the way back to the left and just run through this water. Ignore that first cave entrance. We're actually gonna go to the one that's a little further away. So just keep following the beach and open up any item boxes that you want. It's up to you if you wanna do those or not. And then just go through the cave here up at the top and just follow this path around. And you're actually gonna see the next collectible we're gonna get, we just have to go out of the way for it. So up on that ledge up there is the collectible we're about to get. So go through the cave that is directly across from it. And we're actually gonna take the path going down first. And you are gonna need a bridge kit here if you haven't built one already, but just keep following this path around and go through the cave. And at the end of this little ledge is gonna be that collectible. So go ahead and run over and pick it up. and exit back out of this cave. And we're gonna go back across the bridge that we 
crossed earlier, whether or not it was new or old, but yeah, so run back across the bridge and go past the cave entrance we came out of before. And we're actually going to take the path leading up and there's going to be another collectible at the very end. And this is also where you're going to have to place your ladder kit if you have not placed one already. So pick up the collectible and then place down your ladder kit just to the right and then climb up the ladder so we can get up to the next area. And then follow this path around to the left and we're going to follow it all the way around so that it curves up and then goes back to the right and you're actually going to see the collectible that we're about to pick up across the way on the rock ledge just across this little gap here so that's where you want to aim to go so just keep following this around follow it up and then to the right and then eventually it will turn down and just hug the left side and pick up the collectible All right, and from here, we're going to take the path leading up to the right, and you're actually going to be able to see where we are going to be heading um, just across this gap here where that rope is hanging down. That's where we're going to end up. So you are going to need a climbing rope kit for this next area if you have not already placed it down. So make sure you have one on you before coming here. But when you're ready, go ahead and follow this path up and all the way to the right. And there's going to be a chest here with a ladder kit inside of it, so make sure you pick up the ladder kit and place it down, and then climb up the ladder to the next area. And we're going to head left past this cave entrance, and at the very end of this section is going to be a post where you can place your little climbing kit down. So go ahead and do so. And then once it's down, climb down the rope. And again, this is going to be the area that we saw across the gap earlier. So once you're down here, just follow this path all the way to the left. And it's going to curve around um, up and then over to the right. And it's going to slope up as well. So just keep following this all the way. and then follow it down. And then just past this large rock here, you're gonna to get to another post with a climbing rope kit, but the kit is actually in this chest over here, so you don't have to worry about crafting one. But directly right of where this little post is, is gonna be the next collectible. So go ahead and grab that. And this will finish off the Eternal Champion set, so we can go ahead and move on to the next island, and we're going to head over to the Southwest Island to get the World Shaping set, but first we're going to head back to the camp and replenish on some food. Okay, and when you're ready to head to the Southwest Island, you want to aim for the beach that is on the northwest side. As you can see on the map here, there are a couple of collectibles marked on the surface, and one of them is going to be on this beach directly in front of you. So again, Southwest Island, but on the northwest beach. And there's going to be six collectibles in total, and this again is going to be the world shaping set. And we're going to do these a little out of order. It's going to be the first, fourth, sixth, third, second, and fifth just because the trail leading that way is going to make it a lot easier for you. So when you're ready, go ahead and exit out of your map and we can go ahead and get going. So again, your first collectible is going to be right here at the very start. So just head left a little and you'll see the tablet directly in the middle of the beach here. So go ahead and pick that up. And we're just going to follow the beach around and this little grass area just on our right hand side will eventually become a little ramp. So make sure you turn around and go up the little grass ramp. And then just keep following the path down and you're going to run through a couple of trees and at the very end here is where you're going to have to place a bridge kit if you have not already done so. This area is part of the story related quest, so chances are you most likely have this already. But this is where you're going to place it down. So once it's down, cross the bridge. And then you're going to cross a little wooden bridge on the right hand side. And you're going to run into two bridges here, one going down and one going up. You want to take the bridge going up first, and we're actually going to come back down to that one here in a minute. 
But down on the lower section of this next little platform is a bridge going down. Head down there and there's going to be the next tablet, so pick that up. And then head back up the bridge and back across the bridge on the left hand side. And now we're going to take that bridge that was leading down before. So go ahead and follow that down. And cross the bridge to the right. And this is where you're going to have to place a climbing kit if you have not already done so on this post. That's where you're going to put it. And then once it's down, climb down the rope and just follow this path to the right. And you're going to ignore this first bridge here. Just run past it. We don't need to go down there. But on the second bridge leading down, go ahead and take that one. And as you can see, the tablet is in the far back right hand corner. So just follow this path around to the tablet and then pick it up. And then make your way back up that bridge. And keep following the path over to the right. And then cross the bridge leading up. And you are going to need another climbing kit here, but it is provided for you in this chest just across the way. So make sure you grab that and then place the kit down on this post and then make your way down the rope. And then just follow this little hill all the way back down to the beach. And then turn around and head down the beach and just a little ways. Over on the left hand side is going to be the next tablet, so go ahead and pick that up. And we're just going to follow the beach all the way down to the left, and there's going to be a cave entrance at the end, so go inside the cave and take the path leading down, and you're going to follow this all the way to the very end, so just keep running to the left, and you'll eventually come to a little rock wall where you will see the next tablet that we need to pick up. So there's the beach, and there's the rock wall, and there's the tablet. So just follow this path to the right, and that top little rock wall will eventually become a ramp. So go up the ramp, and then pick up the tablet at the very end. And then make your way back to the right and down the ramp again. And now we're going to go through this little cave that's just right next to it. So head back to the left. and exit through the cave. All right, and from here, we're gonna go all the way up. And you are gonna need a ladder kit here. So if you have not already placed this down, this is where you're going to do so. So once it is, climb up the ladder. And then when you get to the top, just follow the grass going up. And at the very end is going to be the last collectible that you need to finish off the world shaping set. So go ahead and pick that up. And now we're going to head over to the Eastern Islands for the last three sets. But as before, we're going to go home first and replenish on some food. And just in case, if you ever need to check your artifact collectibles, you can hit triangle and the last tab over is where all of your little lore artifacts are going to be. So if you ever need to double check, you can go ahead and go there. But again, we're going to go back to camp first and then head over to the eastern island. Okay, so on the eastern island, we have three different sets of collectibles. And we can actually get them all in one go, but I'm going to show them separately anyways. Um, it's highly recommended you do these after you have completed the story because each collectible set is in one of the areas where you need to pick up the golden statue to actually finish the game. So to start, you want to aim for the northwest side of the main beach area so that we can get the first set of collectibles, which is going to be the Captain Barbarossa's logbook. And the first one is going to be here at the very tip top of the northwest beach. And then you're just going to follow this all the way down. And again, you can pick up any items that you see along the way if you need them. Otherwise, you can just ignore them for now. But just keep following the beach, and you're eventually going to run into a cave entrance. Go inside the cave. And then just follow this path around. And then just hug the right side. 
and there's going to be like a little curve here and the collectible is going to be on the very right hand side so go ahead and pick that up and make your way out of the cave so again just follow this path to the left and then follow the path leading down And then once you exit out of the cave, follow the beach going down. And the next collectible is actually going to be against the rock wall on the beach itself. So pick up this third little book here. And now we just need one more. So keep following the beach going south. And you can actually see the fourth and final collectible up on that rock wall. So that's where we're going to be heading. So keep following the beach down and eventually that rock wall will become a little ramp for you. And when it does, take the ramp going up. And just follow it all the way to the very end to pick up that collectible. And this will finish off the first set on this island. And we can actually stay here if you have enough food. Um, it's up to you as to whether or not you want to travel back to camp or not. I'm actually going to do that because I am low on food. But we'll meet up back here and start on the second set on this island, and that's going to be Admiral Kenwalk's notebook. Okay, so for this next part, you want to aim to get to the beach on the southern side of the island where that little ladder is showing. If you've already placed this ladder kit down, there is going to be a green check mark. If you have not, then there is not going to be a green check mark. But again, this is the last area for the story related quests. So chances are you probably already have this open. So again, just aim for the southern beach. And we're actually going to use this for the second and third sets on this island. So, so when you're at the ladder, go ahead and take it up to the next little section. And we're actually going to pick up this next set going in a clockwise motion around this area. So when you get to the top of the ladder, follow the lower wall all the way down to the left. And just keep following it until you get to the far left hand corner. And that's going to be the first collectible that we pick up for this set. Okay, and once you have that, just keep following the wall as it goes up. And then the top left hand corner of this area is going to be the next collectible. So just keep following the wall around. And tucked in the back corner behind this tree is going to be the next collectible. So pick that up. And then just follow this back wall along to the right. And there's going to be a cave entrance just to the right here. So go inside the cave entrance. And follow the path down to the right. And just keep following it down. And at this little four-way intersection, you want to take the stairs going down to the right first. And then this little area in the top left corner is going to be the collectible. So go ahead and grab that. And make your way back up the stairs and straight across down the stairs to the left. So just keep going straight through that little intersection. And follow the stairs down to the large open area. And on the left hand side is going to be a little walkway. Just follow this into a small little section. And then the bottom left corner is going to be the collectible. So go ahead and grab that. And now we're done with this area. So exit out of the cave. So back to the right. Follow the path down. And then just head up all the stairs to the cave entrance and go outside of it. And we'll continue to the right to pick up the next collectibles. So exit out of here and again we're just going to hug the wall going to the right and you're going to ignore this pathway going up this little hill here so just run past that little ramp and when you get to this concrete looking wall surrounding this building just keep following it around to the right and then in the very back right hand corner tucked away in some rocks is going to be the next collectible so go ahead and pick that up and just keep following the wall on the right all the way down and follow it as it curves around to the right and again just keep hugging this wall just keep going right 
and eventually you'll reach these stairs. So go up the small set of stairs and then the next set and then this little area is going to be the next collectible. So pick that up and head back down both sets of stairs. And just follow this little lower wall all the way down to the left. And eventually you'll hit a nice little curve that has the last and final collectible for this set. So pick this up and this will finish off the Admiral Kenwalk's notebook set. And we have one more to go in this area and that's going to be the Commander Davenport's journal. So if you need to go home, go ahead and do so to replenish on some food. Otherwise, we can just continue from here. Um, I am actually going to go and grab some, some treats from camp. So I will see you guys back here in just a minute. Okay, so for the final set, again, we're going to be on the Eastern Island. And if you did have to go home, you want to aim to land on the same southern beach that we did for the previous set. So where that little ladder and the green check mark is, that's where you're going to aim to start. And we're just going to go through that first little section up to where we need to get for this set. And you are going to need a climbing rope kit for this if you do not already have it. Um, you need to craft one and actually bring it with you. So in total, there are seven pieces to this little collectible set three are inside of the cave and the other four are on the surface so we're gonna go ahead and get this started when you're at the little ladder climb up and at the very top you're just gonna run directly in front of you and just keep going straight and eventually you'll run into that little rock ramp hill pathway that we passed earlier so Head up there and all the way at the very end of this is going to be a post where you need to place your climbing kit. So go ahead and do so if you have not already done it and climb down the rope. And you'll see the first collectible just to the right of where the rope is. So go ahead and pick those up. And head up the stairs just below where that collectible was. And at the very top, in the lower right hand corner is going to be the next set of journals so go ahead and pick those up and then exit through the stairs on the top and we're actually going to go inside the cave first and there's going to be three collectibles inside the cave so on the left hand side go through the entrance And then you're going to come to a three-way split path here. There's a collectible to the left, to the right, and straight ahead. So we're going to go all the way to the left first. And at the end of this pathway are the journals. So go ahead and pick those up. And then make your way back to the little central area. And this time we're going to take the far right path. So keep following it straight all the way to the right. And at the end of this path is going to be the journals, so go ahead and pick those up. And then make your way back to the central area, and this time we're going to take the stairs leading up. And at the very top, just to the very right of where the stairs are, is going to be the next set of journals. So just go ahead and quickly pick those up, and then make your way back down the stairs and out of this little cave. And we can go ahead and get the last three collectibles for this area. Oh, excuse me, two. Two collectibles. <laughs> okay, so exit out of the cave. And then if you turn right, there's going to be two sets of stairs. One going um, up to the left and one to the right. But first you want to go in between the stairs. And on this little ledge over here are the journals. This ledge is a little funky, you might have to play with it a little bit to see where it actually lets you up. But once you're up here, pick up the collectibles. And then exit back to the left, and we're actually going to take the stairs going up. Like the top stairs. And then down the stairs to the left. And just follow this little circular platform on the right hand side and take the stairs going up on the left 
and the journal is going to be on the wall just at the very top and this will finish off the Commander Davenport's journal as well as all of the lore artifacts if you've been following up to this point. And as always, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.